I'll be really honest with you guys. I was not paying attention to this year's winter event. And when I saw this coming to my hangar, I realized that, oh, it's time to play the Vilkis and of course the other vehicles. Now, normally I would be paying very close attention. I would be very excited, but this year's roundup for vehicles is kind of a lackluster. I'll get more into that a little bit later in this video. Now, there's one thing I wanna point out before we go ahead and get to the next part of this video, which is uh, when us as creators get access to this. Now, don't get me wrong. I think, you know, we shouldn't be as well privileged as the rest of the player base, right? But we're in a unique position to be able to showcase these vehicles to you to kind of help you build up the idea of whether or not you want to continue the grind or you want to save yourself or you want to uh, maybe just wait and bite it at the end, right? Now, Gaijin gave this to us on the very same day as everyone else, which is a little bit concerning because that kind of says that this vehicle wasn't hyped up. Now, again, normally we would get this about two, three, four days ahead, maybe even a day ahead, but that just wasn't the case. And after playing this on stream a little bit ago, uh, I kind of realized why Gaijin didn't give this to us a little early. But before I dive into the rest of the details of this vehicle, if by any chance you're gonna be using Golden Eagles or whatever to buy this vehicle or the other ones uh, through the event itself, use my 3% discount, save yourself some money. I get paid to what's really not to love. So that's it. That's all I got for you guys on that part. So let's talk more about the Vilkis, Vilkas. Vilkas, I can't say it, I'm sorry. I'm gonna call it the Vilkas, okay? Uh, and what does it bring to the table? Well, I'll be honest, take the VBC and just give it bikes. That's it. I'm not kidding. Just take the French VBC, which I think I have here somewhere. Take this vehicle and maybe give it a little bit less armor and a little bit more torquey and give it spike missiles. I know it's not one to one. The engine power is probably different, etc., which I can look at now. Yeah, it's actually significantly faster. But if you know the Radkampf wagon, if you know any wheeled vehicle for the Germans, they're torquey and they're very strong. And this thing is no exception to that rule. Same old, same old, you have no armor. Don't get shot at. This thing can survive some auto cannon fire, but here's where things, you know, kind of shine. Look at all that dead space in this vehicle. I mean, trust me. Also, Gaijin did give this vehicle two extra spike missiles. When this first came out, when we first saw it, it only had the sets. They decided to give it an extra pair to make it up to four missiles in total, which in my opinion was worth it. You get, I believe, uh, maybe not the exact same cannon as the Pumas. No, it's, uh, oops, uh, it is, it's definitely uh, a different gun for the most part, but this pretty much acts the same way as the Pumas or the Bradleys with the Mark 258. If you know how to play those vehicles, this is the exact same thing. Generation two or three thermal sites for the gunner and the commander, no laser warning system, and you get IRST or optical lock, which is very nice. If I can find those damn sites. Uh, commander, where is the, uh... holy crap, where's the gunner site? I can't find the gunner site on this. Am I blind? There it is. Yeah, you get track IRST like the Puma, like the Bradley, etc. So keep that in mind. But let's talk about those spike missiles. Right, they're the LR2s, 20 click range, 180 meters a second, 700 millimeters of penetration in a tandem warhead, which is pretty good. But here's the problem with these missiles. You can't fire them within, I think, 200 meters because the missiles fly up and they'll either try to go straight or they'll go straight up. I've had this thing shoot over targets at pretty close ranges. So this is kind of unreliable, but seeing that you have a crewless turret, you can sit in a hold down position with this thing pretty damn well. Do you know what? I'd rather show you. So without further ado, let's take this bad boy out and let's uh let's be a rat in it, shall we? Ooh. Uh well at least the focus spam isn't that bad. It'll be a little bit worse later on. By the time you're watching this, I think um the height of the spam should be uh there. But you know, I always bring a full load. I also found it funny that uh the crew sits on top of the ammunition. That's terrifying. <laughs> Anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's be a rat in this thing, shall we? Nope. Got one up. Got him scouted. Perfect. Oh, I think I saw a second one. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. I think I saw another one. Oh, crap. No, teammates. Don't. You better not pop me open. Come on. Getting his gun. 
Oh, perfect. He's done. Missile, let's go. Do you think? Uh, see what I mean about the missile shooting overhead like that? Yeah, like I said. How far was that, actually? Hold up. Let me, um, let me double check that. Uh, yeah, so don't do it within 200 meters. Got it. Oh, striker. Oh, balls. Uh, of course, you're going to shoot my teammate. That's okay. Mm. Sorry you have to take the hit from me, buddy. I appreciate it, though. There we go. Got him. Well, I didn't get him, but <laughs> I'll take the assist. Oh, pancake tank. Pancake tank. Come on. Get his gun. Come on. Give me your gun. Give me your gun. Oh. We got him. There's um, an Abrams behind us somewhere over here. Oh, there's someone else coming this way, too. Unless that's a friendly. Uh, let's get this guy fixed up. And then let's see about that Abrams behind us. Oh, boy. Woo! Oh, damn it. We got his engine. <laughs> I should have launched a missile instead. You see, I, I don't have a habit to do it yet. Also, I just found out that uh, Gaijin gives us 20 backups with this thing. I don't know if it's a uh, test drive thing for us as creators, but I, do you normally get 20 backups on this? I I forget. Oh, hostile Bradley front. Yeah, I definitely hear that. I hear that thump thumping. Screw it. Oh, it's friendly. Oops, 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 oops. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see the blue tag right there, okay? This is called seeing in red. And there's a guy over here. I hear him. I got what sounds like a uh, a wheeled vehicle coming this way right now. Uh, I'm going to ambush him. Run away from him to try to get on the A point. Engine turned off. And then hit him on the side, but... Can't tell what that might be. Here it comes. Oh, it's a 2S38. Are you serious? Uh, he's got a friend, though. Sounds like a wheeled vehicle or something. Uh, I'm listening to it. There he is. Striker. Gotcha. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, all right. Got to bait the A point, and it worked out really well. I'll be honest, uh, this game went uh, a lot better than I had expected originally so let's go to the next one dude look how tiny this weasel is compared to me i feel like i can fit two of these just open the back put them in deploy two weasel 182s as a uh, support because we don't do infantry remember <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to chase them but it's pretty funny Woo! there's a lot of them oh how did i miss this scout that was like oh christ ah only way to go is forward, huh? Um, tell you what, I'm gonna play opportunity uh, against them and uh, hope for the best. No, oh, I think I got one coming. Oh, I got this guy coming. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, I only got his vertical cannon drive. That's okay. Uh, I missed that opportunity. Missile would not have worked anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, he's back. Oh, <laughs> he came back. Oh, you poor thing. Ah, oh, well, it's a premium. So a uh, little birdie told me that uh, the Leopard 2s, all of them, the 2A4s, uh, 121, 2AV, they're all going to get their vertical targeting speed nerfed to around 10 degrees a second at the most. Uh, okay. Um, Take the hit. Take the shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. All right, thanks for taking the hit. You know what? You did take the hit from me, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to repair you. But why were you watching the the left of you? Oh, I'm going to use him as cover. Hold up. Oh, my goodness. I can shoot over top of him. This is ridiculous. I was like, I can't cover you, dude. Get him. Kill him. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, those those are my teammates. It's like, bro, the one time I need my paid actors out here. The one time they're not out here. Yeah, by the way, did you see how the spalling was on the uh, the BMPs? <laughs> God, their sables are gnarly, but 
Oh, but my spawning sucks. Oh. Someone hit me. We're okay, though. No, we're not okay. Running. Running. Pop and smoke. Running. Holy shit. I am not going to stick around for that. Teammate, can you please deal with him? This thing is way too freaking tall for its own good. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just... It's annoying as hell! Come on. Ammunition. Got him. Ugh. Oh, that's a friendly I'm listening to. All right. Oh, I hear something in front of me. Hold up. Well, I've been driving around a little bit aimlessly and... Oh, yeah. Ha. Huh. Yep. Oh, boy. Um... What is spalling? I am a 30 millimeter after all, and I'm not Russian, so I don't spall very well. What are you gonna say? You're gonna watch your butt a little bit? Cause I'm currently cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this. I'm probably gonna kill myself, but that's fine. Whoa, hold up. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Come on, Gunner. All right, all right. Come on. I need some team. I need some teammates here. Come on. Can I at least set him on fire? Oh, I have a teammate coming in right now. Come on. I can't just launch the missile. Already hit me and him, apparently. <laughs> hey, at least we win. Oh, well, that's it for the game. But uh, guess what? Our little weasel friend survived. Yeah! I'm gonna see if I can actually try to use these damn missiles. Because in truth, it's not a habit for me to use them. And seeing that you kind of got to be at a good distance to do so, it's like... I don't know. They feel sort of situational. Oh, balls. Um, Yeah, we got someone right in front of us. And it sounds like a light... No, it's definitely not just a light tank. There's a lot more than just that. First one up. P-72. Missile away. Oh, oh. Missile. Oh. Wait, what? Did, I didn't hear the second one or the first one go off. What? I mean, I'm, I'm okay with the fact that it worked, but... Oh. Come on. Come on. Missile away. Okay, missile is super silent for some reason. I have no idea why. But it went. What is that? Come on. Now I heard that. Did I just one tap an Abrams? Boy! The missile was being really weird this time, okay? But we got to back up. All right, before you start asking here, I don't continuously stare at my hotbar the entire damn time, so I didn't know the missile launched, even though it said it did. Ooh. Oh, I heard that one go. Don't look at me, please. Perfect. Oh, we got revenge. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for making it easy. But I'm probably going to regret saying that now. I'm going to... I should be close enough, actually. Let's see if I can get this K-50. Oh, one missile just flew past him. I don't think that was mine. Oh, there we go. I, I wouldn't recommend using this against uh, helicopters at distance. So when they're pretty close like that, yeah, it works. Oh, shit. That was supposed to be a jump cut. Hold up. Sorry. Perfect. Another one up. Missile away. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, missile hit someone else. It's a Moderna. Oh, that's a scary tank. Come on. Second one out. I don't think that's going to hit. Nope, didn't hit. I got another one right in front. Oh, balls. No! Ah! Come on. Come on. Can someone kill this guy for me, please? Whoa, balls. Uh... We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Ah, run! Ah! <laughs> Come on! Move, fat boy! Let's go! Oh, Christ. This thing is responsive. I'll give it that. Well, uh, I am as useless as it can get. I have no auto cannon shots. Uh, I have no missiles. I have nothing more but a dream 
to rearm on the cat point while I have multiple targets I could have easily like, I can kill him right now uh, great yep can I just I couldn't even scout him I'm looking at Gaijin you know what listen I respect you guys very much but damn it come on that's as much as I could do <laughs> oh no I can't even rearm anymore damn it uh, editing just in here. I just wanted to clarify something really quick. I didn't notice this until I was in the editing process that, uh, I got my ammunition shot out in the turret, yet it expended both the munition that my crew were previously sitting on, which means that my crew is the blowout panel. I think it, it's a bug. It's obviously a bug, but it, it was an annoying one at that too, which kind of cost me a few kills. So Gaijin, can you get on that pretty quick, please? Yeah, back to the video. Listen, I'm going to leave now. I'm gonna jay out and just call it a day for this game, all right? But just, holy crap. <laughs> to think, 11.3 is gonna look just like this one day. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. Well, I guess after that previous game, uh, we got a full down tier. <laughs> this thing, uh, dude, 10-3 does not get down tier at all. We always get up tier to 11-3 for some damn reason. And we get to play with more premium OESs and whatnot because, uh, yeah, just it's not top tier, right? Oh, missile. Oh, it's tracking. Oh, it's, oh. Hit him. Uh, uh, come on. Come on. Uh, I know. I know. I'm a crap driver. <laughs> uh, that's that's called panic driving, all right? Here we go. Missile what? I'm using my commander sights. Let's see if that works. Oh. Oh, that sort of works. At least he didn't move. Yeah. I, I mean, cool and all, but still. Oh. Come on. Missile away, please track. Oh, I didn't track, damn it. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on, backing up, backing up. Missile, do your thing? Nope. I mean, it worked, just not in the way it should have, I think. All right, we're out of missiles. Let's see if we can take the A point and uh, rearm. Here we go, Leopard. Come on. Ooh. He shot. I got someone important. Got him. He's got a friend. Abrams front. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on, come on. Give me something important. My orange is barrel. Not that I trust it. <laughs> yeah. I don't ever trust an orange barrel. Ever. Oh, I got a crit! Oh, we got him. Should not have shot the way you did. I am uber exposed. Gotta move! Gotta move! Got one on the right side here. I marked it earlier. It was a uh, T-55. And there he is. And they got him. Perfect. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> call it what you want. Uh, 30 millimeter post benefit off vehicles like this feels worse off than that of the BMP2s. Uh, I don't know. Was that Estrella? That's Estrella. I wanna go bully him really quick. Assuming uh, this guy right here doesn't try to get me. Oh, run. Okay. Ooh. Hey, little Strella. Sorry, buddy. You're kind of OP as hell for your BR, so I'm gonna bully you. All right. Oh, that A10 should have birded me. He probably would have gotten away with it. And I think he's coming back for a round two. Yeah, he is. Come on. You know, you probably couldn't do that against an SU-25K. Just saying. Oh, but he's definitely gonna do it. We got him, but I'm gonna die. 
I'm not dead! Woo! No oh, shit. Bradley. Ugh. Uh, excuse me, I didn't expect anything else to happen because this this game is pretty much over for them. Uh, if that's a uh, Chadley, I'm I'm bone. But if that's not, it is a Chadley. Woo. We're good. Oh, maybe we're not good. Hold up, they're taking C. Uh, let's see if we can get behind them. A little longer than a few minutes later. So, um, we may or may not have gotten a nuke after that last one, so, uh, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to drop it. Yep. So, let's go to the next one, unfortunately. Oh, boy. Um, I hear an Abrams. I hear more than one Abrams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's just deal with this guy up front first. I should have NATO hump. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on! Oh, gosh. Wheeled vehicles, man. There we go. Oh, my goodness. There we go. NATO hunt for the win. Right there. And now for the Abrams behind us. Oh, uh, let's see if this works. We got him scout through the building. That's so stupid, but it works. There we go. There we go. Get him, teammates. Draw on his fire. Yeah, right there. No ESS ain't gonna save you, buddy. There we go. Perfect. Good old flank and spank. All right, we gotta help our team, though. Oh, shit. Come on. Perfect. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Okay, I got his breach and everything. Probably should have thrown a missile at him, huh? Oi! Oh, he was right there. Damn it, I was looking at the striker on the left, but he was already dead. <laughs> well, on the bright side, our team is doing very well. That's an ABT. Missile away. Perfect. Woo! Like I said, our team is doing very well. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Come on, I gotta help you repair, I know. I just don't trust that striker. I'm a little too exposed. Here we go. Got his barrel on his breach. All right, he's not shooting for a little bit. Let me get that striker. Gotcha, buddy. Come on. Perfect. Woo! I don't know what it is, man. I just love fighting strikers in this thing. It's fun. Oh, I got an Abrams front. Teammates. I go oh, balls. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotta move, gotta move. Ooh. Oh, shit! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why do I lose all my magazines? Well, they got him, but... Mm. Teammates, please kill him. Oh. Why do we lose all our rounds if just the one up top just blew... Okay, you know what? It's Gaijin logic. I'll accept it, I guess. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for the Vilkis. And uh, I'll be real with you guys. It's not like I haven't been this entire video anyways. This is kind of a struggle bus. And no pun intended. Now, don't get me wrong. It's fun to have. It's nice. It has good firepower for the most part. A very familiar gun. The spike missiles are, are kind of more of a miss than an actual hit. But they can get the job done. And they are incredibly satisfying to use. Although the protection is a given right the 30 millimeter i get it we've all and i should have gotten this to be honest would have helped me a ton uh it's familiar all right if you know how to use the pumas or anyone else's you can use this thing to very good effects and it is a high tier vehicle although i think maybe it should be 10.0 as opposed to 10.3 because those 11 three up tiers oh man <laughs> just it, it's premium at 10.3 and it's premium at 11 three it's just you can't really win at tier and in a full up tier at 9.3 it's the same thing almost but in the grand scheme of things this isn't a worthwhile vehicle for your grind i mean I, I hate to say it like that but it's not really worth it it's a good collector's piece it's a good lineup filler but it's not an overall efficient vehicle but it can get the job done in the right hands 
Now, if you're someone playing at 10.3 or 11.3 and you want to farm this vehicle, oh yeah, you are going to have a wonderful time doing so because this thing is at the very beginning of being spammed in droves. But if you're an experienced player, I say to you, don't use this right now. All right, just wait until the spam is over. Wait until the newbies realize that this thing isn't as great as you know they want it to be, and they'll go back down to the respective BRs or playing their respective vehicles, making this one excel. Because again, it's a support vehicle. Having like 90 of them in the game is not gonna help you in any sense, I promise. But if you were to ask me whether or not you should keep it or sell it, if you're like me, a collector, you have everything in the game for the most part, and you just want to collect vehicles, this will fit right into that. But if you're on the fence about it, I say sell it. Just get rid of it. It's going to be like 25 bucks on the market anyway, maybe 30 at the most. That's just my guess here. Uh, but just get rid of it. Truthfully, okay? Just being very honest with you. Uh, but it was fun. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it. Gaiju, thank you again for giving me a test drive and allowing me to have this relatively soon you know i did unlock it naturally so that's that's awesome but aside from that what do you guys think about the vilkas is it fun is it another ifv that no one cares about are you gonna play it are you gonna sell it let me know down in the comment section and while you're swinging on down there uh, by the time you're watching this i should be in the middle of a live stream so feel free to check that out over on twitch link description as always don't forget to use my three percent and yeah that's it Anyways, thank you guys. I will see you not only in the next video or even the streams, but most certainly in the higher tiers of War Thunder. Maybe not at 10-3 for a little while. We'll see. See you next time.